Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to the best game ever, the young Mass Effect 2. Erdnod Grunt and his victorious craft. Alright, let's get out of here. This is taking a while. All right, so the elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Thank you. Uh, that is not the debriefing room. It is here. Yes, let's go. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Yes, let's go. Uh, I hate this mission, just saying. I absolutely hate this one. It's a bit creepy. Ugh. Alright, why is it taking so long to load? Thank you. Right, so, let's just cycle through his appearance. Yeah, the cool one. Right, who do we want? Uh, we want Hacker and an Assassin. Uh, see that. Okay. Yeah, let's go. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Like this before. Looks like an insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an axe. 
access node to uplink with collector data okay. banks. Marking location to your heart suit computer. This place, by the way, is the creepiest place on Earth. Well, in the galaxy. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Perhaps the missing colonists are there, if they're still alive. This is like the creepiest place ever. I don't like it. The collectors use these on Horizon. It must have been horrible, trapped in these pods, helpless, completely at the mercy of the collectors. I don't know why, but it feels like I'm playing Outlast. What happened here? And that is not good. They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Right, where was I going? Came from there, so I'm going this way, okay. Salvage. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. We're running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. The Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. What's this? Weapons training? Ah, oh, damn, I think I picked the wrong one. I didn't know what that was gonna do. Probably picked the wrong one now. Oh no, this is just a better gun, I guess. Look, on the ceiling, more of those strange pods. There must be hundreds. How many are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pods, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Oh, so I got one extra weapon now. Okay, that's cool. I'd rather use this though, because I know this gun. Creepy. Ok. 
Okay. Now what's this? Okay, what's this here? Where am I even going? Okay, we don't go there. Yeah. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked EA to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. I don't like this. <laughs> Why did this game suddenly turn into a horror game? What the fuck? Pretty sure I'm gonna have to be running from this pretty soon. Kila. They could take every human in the terminal systems and not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. Gare, yeah, come on. I don't know why I feel better being out in the open here. There, on the platform, looks like some kind of control panel. Has anyone else wondered why we haven't seen any collectors, living or dead? Just shut the fuck up. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. Knew it. Boss fight time. Yay! going on get the new gun out see what we can do Gah! I don't want to die It would be amazing if it had more ammo.
harbinger of your destiny. Okay. Big guns. Thank you. Cool. That's it. Shepard, you must manually reestablish my link to the command console. Wait a second, I want to get my weapon ammo restocked. I need my ammo. Right, let's go. No, I, I want sprint. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're up. Cerberus is not known for keeping faith. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on. Let's move. I hate this so much. Around the corner, take the door on your right. At least this place has lots of crates around. Dead Harbinger. Come on! Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Crap, more. Fuck! Oh, please tell me that the last save was not 10 hours ago. Good. Fragile. 
Okay, good. What my new weapon? This is this does shitloads of damage. If you actually hit with it. Which is rather hard to do apparently. Fighting fire with fire. Face your annihilation. Right, where do we go? Other way. No, other way. Ah! Too many places. That's a way. They've probably just sprinted through the enemy, to be honest. I hate husks. Oh shit. Fuck you. Die! Shit! Go on. Oh, for fuck's sake! Heavy weapon, here we go. Even heavier. Let's go. Die, motherfucker! Go! Run, run! I bet you could just sprint through all of this. I just bet you could. Oh, fuck's sake. Edie, we've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Re 
routing commands through Firewall 7164. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. Right, first, make sure everything is fully loaded up. Good. Where? Ah, shit. This might be useful. Target right. Ah, shit. This is what you face. Go this. Close to dead right now. Go in peace. Your attack is an insult. You cannot resist. Face your annihilation. This hurts you. He's dead, okay. Kill that motherfucker. And let's use a different gun. Okay, run. Commander, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. I need to go this way, otherwise I die there. There's gonna be husks here. I knew it. Burn them. Oh, Many husks here. Oh shit. There's a lot. I hate husks! Had some pretty bad experiences with them before. In Mass Effect 1. Thank God. We're out of time, Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move. Strap in, people. Get us the hell 
it's not here. All right. Let's see where we get. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him too. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. 
That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. This thing is our best shot at getting through the Omega-4 relay. We have to try. It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. All right, it's been a really long episode now again. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you. Oh fuck! In the next one. Bye bye.